Hello everyone, this is Art and Vital Gamer. Let's play Toxers on the PC. Before I go help our hero try to liberate this toxic town of bugs, don't forget to click subscribe to become a part of the Art and Vital Nation. Now then, let's play some Toxers. Okay, so the concept of this game is you're, it's sort of like an equipment based RPG. Your job is to basically Wipe out the bugs and help people escape off the island. This is a pretty straightforward interface. Tells you how many days you have. This is your map. In time, as you start with the basics, but as you acquire money from your job, you get to buy better guns, melee weapons, and upgrade your personal gear. And of course, you won't be doing this alone as you progress through the clearing out of the land. You get to rescue party members who can help boost your stats, like stat boosters. And then this is Mel, is just for novelty bragging rights really so so far we only have this option we see this place the objective is destroy three bug nests tell you how many progress you are how much you search how difficult the bugs are and how many characters you can rescue which is two in this area so we start here we just pick a random spot and start it goes then we have to progress and once the day runs out then day's over in combat you have your gun options, melee, you can run away or you can use items. So we're starting off, we just go with basic attacks and it's just turn base. And below is how much money you have, how much bullets you have for your present gun, and what's your life points. Ah, oh, dear, the struck. Come on, Bob. Yes, we got a medal. And $10 too, so if you kill the enemies, you get money as well. Oh crap. Yeah, in this case, like in this game, well, it's true you have a team. Officially, it's only you doing the fighting, but the enemies got off the three monsters or bugs attack you at the same time. Long story short, don't die. I need a med kit soon, oh dear. And the way EXP works in the game is technically, like, officially there's no level up system. It's, you basically use money to buy yourself better gear. That's how the leveling up in this game works. Jesus, bad. Um, I haven't found anything yet. Wow, I'm really unlucky. Three times in a row. Oh, wow, the trigger happy shop worked. And of course, you can see it tells min and max damage, so it usually is a baseline average, so you can forecast what your attack rates will be. Ooh, perfect, med kit. Medkits can heal you, but you only carry two of them with you. Yeah, it's a pro and some of the sad thing about this game is, if an item you're maxed out, you leave it there on the ground, and you cannot pick it up, and automatically gets forfeited. So you have to keep that in mind as you progress in the game. Whether to pick it up or leave it for now. For now. We wiped the bug out. Three hours left in the day. Ooh, got that. Found some money. And then after each day, we get a summary. It tells you how you did overall. And why don't you lock any new weapons? As a sale, it says you lock a bat, so... My recommendation is to buy the melee weapons, because they're always going to be stronger than the ones you already have, so I get the baseball bat. Can't really get the other gear yet. Seem two males for bragging rights. Let's go back here and see if I can find those missing party members. Valmont Dunes. Well, with the baseball bat, now I hit harder. Of 
quirks, these pyramids, when you find them, they all come different abilities. Some of them boost your attack, some other, other special abilities. Some could help you in your financial, but only if they're within your party. But that's why you have two slots. And in case you're wondering, no, you cannot change your character's name. Your default character's name is Bob Steele. Man, I'm really unlucky to find party members. Not a med kit. Ooh, found one! Fred! Who I think is supposed to be Mr. T in a way. So, now I have Fred on my team. If I have him accompany me, all my attack power goes up by plus two. No, anyway, I found the other character here. Ice Cream Salesman. His special ability is, if there's adjacent survivors to squares near you, the lights up let you know they're there, so you can rescue party members more effectively. Because you could technically use the shout ability to call for your teammates to call out to say, where are you guys? But some of the bugs can mimic it too, so with this Ice Cream Man guy, now you can verify if it's really them or it's a bug mimicking them. Got an energy drink? Nice. Check them done. Let's see what's left here. Dang it. Hmm. Now with Fred, see? Plus two, because Fred's on my team. So of course, for obvious reasons, give us tons of replay value, because you can progress through it and pick different party members. You could decide who you want to utilize, leverage. Let's get the crossbow for now as an upgrade. Ice cream man. We lock the apartment and commercial. If you look at the stats now, it gets a little higher. This one you rescue the state chief and short two eggs. This one is fine for hidden laptops. This is one party man rescue, but I think I'll go here because I need the chief because this ability is very unique. Ooh, I got this. This is a good one. Bring you back from death if you, if you lose a battle. Crossbow rounds. Okay, and as you, of course, obvious reasons, as you progress through like the areas, the bugs will get stronger, so you have to get better gear to fight them. Like these bugs have guns. Oh man, this is not good. Shoot. Thankfully, they only can do one attack per turn, so they have to allocate among themselves. At least you have that going for you, at least. Yes, survive. Uh, use medkit. Ooh, got that one. Perfect. Because medkits only go up to 50%. But, like, he'll be by 50 hit points, and he only carry two, so you keep it in mind. Oh, perfect. There's the chief. Got, got, no, no. Ooh, and I found the party member, a doggy. Who is probably one of my personal favorites in this game because of his special ability. Oh, perfect critical hit. We lock roster, so we basically the reason why I like the dog more is because the dog not only has the ability to locate uncover humans like the ice cream man, he can also uncover items and get plus one to damage. I'll switch right off now now to the Steve Chief because the Steve Chief each day you complete the game you get a hundred dollars more, which can come in handy if you're having financial trouble or the bugs are too brutal. Of course, you want to be cheeky. You could technically just end the day whenever and just spam the hundred dollars for the city chief on a daily basis. But to be honest, who wants to do that? That's not fun. It wouldn't be more fun just like to fight your way through it. Just keep that in mind. But that is an option available if needed. But in theory, you should be making doing well enough that you can afford your own gear to fight the monsters off, the bugs off. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh man, I'm seriously unlucky here. Uh, and then if I need you just do this, try to run away. But if you're unlucky, you get penalized. Of course you use an item during your turn. It also deducts your ability, so you have to use wisely. What the heck? He's still alive. What the heck? That's not that's that's not right. It must be a clutch. <laughs> Yes, come on. Ooh, lock a knife. Perfect. Because it's stronger. Almost there for the item. Armor. Stabby. Gotcha. Well, I'm a completionist, so I'm going to build the objectives. Got bullets. We did, we cleared it out. I got enough to buy the crash helmet. So this will basically make my armor like damage reduction by 3%. Of course you only carry one of these, otherwise I would have stacked everything. Let's go to commercial building because it looks easier. Here goes. The challenge is when you blind drop in, if you're unlucky, you could land on the bug's nest, you have to fight them. Looks like the cap for the item is three. <laughs> oh man, because this looks goofy, but it works. It glows. It goes. Yep. Activate bug repellent just for the heck of it because might as well it's free item there anyways. See only one damage because my 33% and plus the extra armor durability. This will heal you fully. So I wouldn't be able to buy unless I need to. This one would be good, better for temporary measures. Up top. For now, if not this easy, I'll just keep the city cheap with me because I can collect more money. Revenue build up. Yes. Sadly, quest items do not appear up with the dog special ability. No Molotovs yet, or Lucky Clovers. Here goes. Wow. Oh crap, that thing hit hard at the time. Ooh, perfect. Got a care quick or rescuer. Whose special ability shell costs only half it, increased radius. So you want to use shell ability, that's where in fact this comes in, but 
I don't, that's not really my play style, so I don't really need to do that. But I should get the shoes just in case. 100% running away, so you can get all three tools on you automatically if you want. You got Molotov, yeah, I'm guessing he has a certain character. Okay, still three mission objectives left, but I found the only characters needed in the area. Yes, mission accomplished. Got and I unlocked both areas. Go. Okay, it was just me being being ham. I didn't I didn't really need to do that. Now with those new shoes, I can run away if things get too dicey. Dang, I didn't lock any new gear yet, darn it. You know what, just get this just in case. Let's get this, this for now. Just Let's see, we can go to the mall, to see park, the park, park, or city hall. And some of these characters, you need certain checklists to be done, or you need to get certain characters first. Like this, you want to go to the golf course, you need to find a golfer. This one, you need to find a report, do you want to get in there? Let's go here. 38%. Looks a little easier than the bit slightly. Drop down. And right into a bug nest. Again. Now at least I have an overview of what to expect. Dang it, I can't tell what the other thing is. There's only catch there. This is good for doing crowd clearing, but I'm just wasting it for fun because we have so many. Because like I said, once if you step on a spot where he has it and you are maxed out, you can't pick it up, so it's going to be gone anyway. So it goes bye, bye, bye anyway, so who cares? Might as well just grab it. Bug repellent. Yeah. God, I found the same spot. Ow. <laughs> okay, you have one lucky bug. Okay, oh, on the other character. Police officer, plus three damage, plus two defense. So yeah, my crew is getting bigger each second, but at the same time, I say you're only getting two people. If you're playing more offensive builds, she'd be a good choice. Because she beats Fred, obviously, because she gets more damage than Fred, and she gives you a defense. Hmm. Oop, okay, there's a grenade there. Whereas I'm accumulating more wealth over time as well. Might as well get the scanner because we're wealthy. Get another metal for it too. Grenade. Okay, grenade. Works wonders. Poison gas.
Crap, I'm almost dead. That's grenade. I can't remember the exact color coding system, but I think if it's red, it's bad. Yellow is quest, blue is... Oh, no, blue is bad. Okay, never mind. Oh, I got an accomplishment. Extra revival. I'm going to end the day for now. It's too dicey. We get this. Because I'm wealthy now. I can afford it. Get the rifle. I don't know why it's not giving me the sword. Might as well grab a med kit just in case. Okay, complete the new area. On. Crap. Screw it, I'm gonna shoot him. Thank you for watching my gameplay of Toxers. Let's take a break for now and come back next time for more Art and Vital Gamer videos. In case you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the Art and Vital Nation. Leave a like and comment on this video and share this video with your friends. And may your day be a little bit less toxic. Thank you.